Good morning guys, it's Monday and uh, Monday morning and it's starting to rain not a very good sign for today it's a little bit uh, cloudy but it's nice and cool also I hope the rain doesn't get too bad today so uh, the tar paper has arrived for our construction is going to be a layer that's separating the uh, thin concrete from the uh, foundation footing and you can see Mr. Mirek is uh, cutting the slices in half because sometimes we have to do an overlap and uh, Mr. Jan is uh, in the excavation rolling out the tar paper This layer of tar, tar paper is supposed to be the first uh, water isolation layer between the, for the foundation. It's between the thin concrete and the uh, foundation footing with the white part of the foundation. And basically it's just, uh, we're just uh, melting it on the edge just to give it continuity so it's uh, like a water barrier between the underlying uh, thin concrete and the foundation so that the concrete doesn't drink up water vertically of course we're going to do isolation from the sides as well with some uh, bitumic uh, mass and uh, you'll see that later but for now this is the first layer that separates the water from uh, going upward and we we're doing this before we put the concrete so that just to separate it like a cake there also will be another layer uh, next to the floor on top that will also separate the whole foundation from the house, from the walls of the house, but that will come next. So also, uh, I hired today my friend Mr. Darius to uh, come and cut the grass for us. He's done this before last year and the grass is getting uh, quite tall and we have a problem with ticks. So I rented his tractor and uh, he's mowing the grass for us on the property so that we can get ticks under control. been a bit over three hours and uh, the grass is cut everywhere very nicely uh, Mr. Derek is doing a good job fantastic and he even made it 
over here in between the uh, mounds of dirt. So I'm very happy with uh, the work he has done. What can I say? Looks fantastic. I got a comment from the user DBR and he makes an absolutely valid point about my fence material that if the wind is pretty strong, I put it on the outside of the fence, that if the wind is pretty strong it might blow onto the road so I'm going to reinforce it with rebar, I got 8mm rebar and the plan is just to tie it on from the outside onto the existing fence structure just to reinforce it so that if the wind takes the material away it will hang on this uh, rebar uh, steel pieces and not fly onto the road and cause some accidents that I will be liable for. Thanks DBR for the comment, you might have saved me a lot of trouble. Okay, so let's get to work. Okay guys, so on the other side of the fence I just uh, put in uh, these two wires through and I've got a set of fence pliers. Uh, these are basically these big pliers used for uh, fencing, different fencing applications. And these are very nice for uh, doing this kind of work. You can just, they have these two grooves in here and this is just holding it loosely. It doesn't have any uh, tight crimping on it. But what you can do is you can turn this around and start twisting like this just to get the thing started and then when you want to move on forward you can just grab here a little bit, a little bit down and start twisting it here it's very hard to film and do at the same time but basically just twist and twist and twist and then it will break at some point or you can use the cutters you have these cutters here and then it has a little hammer so you can even hammer it down and there you go so I heated the wiring that DPR gave me thanks DPR and I attached these metal pieces of 8mm uh, rebar uh, outside of the fence with some tie wire and now the material should go nowhere, so... How much
storm is coming again. Everything got gray and the wind picked up really strong. It's bending trees. So, yeah, it's starting to rain. Okay, let me get out of here before I get too wet. This will be it for today. I just want to quickly show you what's what in our excavation. And I'm going home because it looks like it's... The rain has stopped for a moment, but it looks like it's going to pick up any minute now again. So I want to get out of here while I st still can. So we've got tar paper almost everywhere under the house, only one side left, but the rain stopped the work, of course, <laughs> but oh, we can always finish tomorrow, it's nothing big. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you next time, bye.